Hi, I'm Congresswoman Susan Delbene, and I represent Washington's first district, which stretches from the eastern suburbs of Seattle all the way north to the Canadian border, covering four counties in western Washington. The district is home to more than 3,000 farms growing a diverse array of fruits, vegetables, seeds, dairy, and countless other crops. I appreciate the opportunity to welcome you to this year's 12th annual Focus on Farming Conference, which is the first to include the forestry community as well. I'm glad that you're taking time today to join your peers and share your stories and experiences in agriculture. The tools, information, and expertise shared on everything from invasive species to precision agriculture will be incredibly helpful to many. Agriculture and forestry industries are a significant part of our state's economy and a major source of jobs. In Washington alone, agriculture represents $49 billion of economic activity and supports 160,000 jobs. And forestry supports 107,000 jobs and $4.5 billion in wages. It's absolutely critical that we encourage and support all of your success. In Congress, I serve on the House Agriculture Committee and I'm the ranking member of the Subcommittee on Biotechnology, Horticulture, and Research. When I was first elected, I studied hard and talked with farmers, and they told me they wanted three things. A long-term farm bill that provided the industry certainty, a visit from the Secretary of Agriculture, and comprehensive immigration reform. I promise I won't give up on that third one, but two out of three is progress. I served on last year's conference committee that negotiated the final version of the 2014 Farm Bill, a five-year bill which is arguably the best one yet for Western Washington farmers. It continues steady progress towards focusing on specialty crops and organics instead of just traditional commodities. And it included significant increases in funding for research and reauthorize important trade promotion programs to open new markets for our farmers. It's critical that the local, state, and federal governments are working together to ensure your questions are answered and your needs are met, which is why just last month, I brought the Department of Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack to Washington's first district so he could hear directly from you. Both agriculture and forestry folks came to the event at Washington State University's Mount Vernon Research Center. We discussed not only the farm bill, but nutrition. Our local farms have an important role in efforts to promote healthier eating and ensuring people have access to healthy quality foods. This starts at a young age by introducing students to healthy eating through the great varieties of fruits and vegetables grown right here at home. We also talked about the terrible fire season we've had this year and what can be done. This summer, 1 million acres in Washington burned, costing our state $319 million. We must ensure the U.S. Forest Service's budget isn't needlessly depleted, which is why I've co-sponsored the Wildfire Disaster Funding Act to restructure the Forest Service's budget to ensure there are funds specifically for wildfire suppression. Important conversations on these topics and more will continue at today's conference, and you'll be hearing innovative ideas from national leaders, your peers, and experts. We all share a passion for agriculture, forests, and food, and are fortunate to live in such a rich, fertile area. I hope that throughout the conference, you're able to take away some valuable skills and tools to help you and your business continue to thrive. In Congress, I often say that farmers in the better Washington grow some of the best food in the world, and I'm always touched by how proud the farmers I visit are of their work. Thank you again for the opportunity to address you today, and please enjoy the conference. It's truly an honor to represent you.